Hi guys, today we're going to continue our exploration of biomolecules. We're going to look at the structure of our four biomolecule categories. So we're gonna look at carbohydrates, lipids, proteins, and nucleic acids. And we are going to take a big old magnifying glass to those molecules and look at the atoms and elements that build the molecules. We're gonna look at the structure of the molecules because understanding that structure is gonna be super important to understanding the function. All right, so again, we got four types of biomolecules here. Remember that biomolecules are called the macromolecules of life. So if we look at water molecule over here, H2O, we got three atoms, tiny little molecule. Well, if you look at a complex carbohydrate, you're gonna have hundreds, maybe even thousands of little atoms in that molecule. So that means that they are macro large. Micro is your root for small, macro means large. Remember that biomolecules can be very macro large. And this is because they are polymers that are made up of monomers. So let's talk about those two words right quick. We're gonna look at the root words first, okay? So poly means many. So polymer is a molecule made of many repeating subunits, kind of like a necklace, if you will. How a necklace is made up of all these repeating beads, right? A polymer is made up of lots of repeating subunits. So if poly means many, mono means one. Okay, so a monomer is a single molecule made up of one subunit. So you may have heard of monogamy, meaning you only have one romantic partner, um, versus polyamory, meaning you have multiple. Okay, so men, mono is one, poly is many. So the monomers would be like the beads that make up the necklace, the polymer. All right, moving forward. Remember, biomolecules are polymers made up of monomers. Okay, so think of the monomers as like the individual Legos. We build up the Lego buildings, the polymers. All biomolecules, again, are based on carbon. And because of this, they are called organic compounds, but they also have some other elements. The basic elements of life are carbon, hydrogen, oxygen, nitrogen, and phosphorus. You can remember this like chomp, but with an N. So chomp, it's kind of hard to say, try it out, chomp. Okay, carbon, hydrogen, oxygen, nitrogen, phosphorus. Make sure you took good notes on that. All right, we're also gonna look at molecular structures in this video. So we're gonna talk about the elements that build up our biomolecules and the structures. So you're gonna see patterns like this. The first thing to note is that the letters are notations for the atoms and the type of atom or the element. So H stands for hydrogen, C stands for carbon. The lines that connect the letters represent bonds. If it is a single line, it is a single bond, and if it's a double line, it is a double bond. And that really has to do with the electrons that are shared. We're not gonna get into that. You can hold on till chemistry before you get into that. All right, again, sometimes though, there are these like intersections where three lines or four lines come together. And with biomolecules, the notation there that's kind of been abbreviated or shortened and simplified, those intersections actually are going to refer to carbon. Okay, so where you see all those lines together, that would be a carbon. The C's are just not shown. All right, so carbohydrates. Let's start by talking about the elements that build up carbohydrates and the structure of carbohydrates. So carbohydrates contain carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen, and it's in the word. So carbo, carbon, hydrate, drink your water, you get an H2O. We got C, H2O are carbohydrates, and they're actually usually in that ratio, okay? So you got one carbon to two hydrogens to one oxygen. 
The basic structural shape of a carbohydrate is this ring of carbon molecules with some hydrogens and some oxygen and hydrogen groups on the side bonded to the carbons. Simplified, you can draw it as a hexagon. I always think sugars are carbohydrates. Bees make beehives with the honeycombs that are hexagon shaped. Honey is sweet. Sugars are sweet. Um, I don't know if that helps. I know that's a long kind of train of thought, but hexagons mean sugary sweet carbohydrates. So the monosaccharides are the carbohydrates monomers. So remember, carbohydrates are like the necklace that are made up of beads. And the beads for carbohydrates are those hexagon shapes or pentagon shapes. And those are called monosaccharides. Mono means one and saccharide means sugar. Okay, so I want you to think of monosaccharides as being the simple sugars, the simple shapes of carbohydrates. Remember that monomers build up polymers. So the carbohydrate polymer is going to be a string of monosaccharides all bonded together into a large structure. So if each of these is a hexagon, they're all strung together in these long chains. Those are polysaccharides. All right, moving on, when we're looking at lipids, lipids are similar to carbohydrates in that they only contain carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen. But unlike carbohydrates that have about a one carbon to two hydrogen to one oxygen ratio, in lipids, it's gonna be mainly carbon and hydrogen. You're gonna see these long carbon and hydrogen chains with very few oxygens. They are also hydrophobic, water-fearing, because the way those molecules are all bonded together makes them non-polar. They're not going to mix with water. Mm -mm, don't get along. So the basic structural shape, check it out. They got these long carbon chains. Okay, instead of the rings with carbohydrates, we've got the chains, and we've got lots of hydrogens and carbons. This makes the molecules very nonpolar. They don't mix well with water. You can also think of these as long little French fries. Lipids are full of, well, lipids are your fats. So those are like French fries. So you're gonna again, look for long chains. The monomer is called a fatty acid. Okay, so those long chains that you see are called the fatty acids. Again, I think of them like french fries. Yum, yum, yum. Super yummy. Okay, so if we look at the fatty acids, sometimes there are three of them and they're attached at, um, at like together at the end to form like the three sign. Okay, and we call those triglycerides, kind of like a long, an E with long parts. That is because there are three fatty acids, tri, attached to a glycerol, triglyceride. We're going to look at these later. If you're feeling overwhelmed, just keep on taking notes. You'll be fine. All right, protein. Notice the N in protein. It's going to contain nitrogen. We got the elements carbon, hydrogen, oxygen, and nitrogen. So here again, you can see the nitrogen in that structure. And we're going to have these little parts, the monomers, build up these long strands of circles. All right, so when you look at a structure, it's usually gonna look like these big kind of clumps of circles. And the monomer, I'm just gonna point out real quick, are called amino acids. And those make up the circles. Notice how those circles really do have a nitrogen, a carbon, hydrogen, oxygen, and hydrogen. And then they have this thing at the bottom called an R group. Ignore that. That just means that there are different types of amino acids and that each one has a slightly different group of um, molecules there or atoms there. All right, so amino acids are held together with peptide bonds and they form the polymer, which is called a polypeptide or a protein. All right, nucleic acids. The elements are C-H-O-N 
and P, okay? So again, there is an N here. It does contain nitrogen, but it also contains phosphorus. The monomer, the bead that makes up the necklace, is called a nucleotide. Notice, nucleic acid, nucleotide. Sound pretty similar. A nucleotide has three different parts. We have a sugar, a carbohydrate, CHO. We have a nitrogen base, nitrogen, C-H-O-N, and a phosphate group, C-H-O-N-P. So again, nucleotides contain a carbohydrate sugar, a phosphate group, and a nitrogen base. The polymer is the nucleic acid. So an example of this would be DNA, stands for deoxyribonucleic acid. And that nucleic acid is made up of lots of nucleotides. I know this is a lot of info and you're like, I have to memorize all this. But the structure is super important to the function. And DNA is the molecule that codes for all of your physical traits. So it's important. And we're going to continue to talk about it throughout the semester. Right now, we're just building the foundation. All right, so I want you to tell me what type of biomolecule is this based on the structure? What kind of molecule is this based on the structure and based on those um, elements that you see? What about this one? See what you think. And what about this one? 